Hey guys, guess who's back home for break? That's right, um, I got back on Saturday night. Today it is Monday and I am going to be spending my day at a local coffee shop, I think. We're not really sure which one yet, but Tommy and I uh, decided to get some work done today um because <laughs> there's a lot of that that still needs to get done i'm kind of sick um but it's okay i've been getting better i've been getting better i got sick like halfway through finals week like literally right after my last final was done um which was interesting an interesting coincidence to say the least um but yeah no i'm glad that i'm getting better um but yeah no like so all all my schoolwork is basically done by this point. It's mostly just like, I have so many emails I need to write um, for extracurriculars, for something I'm doing next quarter, which I'll announce in like the next two to four minutes um, in this video. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for all of that. And mm -hmm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna head out right now, okay? <laughs> We decided to go to Starbucks because that's the only local coffee shop we could think of. <laughs> right, Tommy? <laughs> Today it is Wednesday. It's been two days since Monday. Um, I just got back from grocery shopping at Tra Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's with Ashley. I know I've been gone for a bit, but I have some updates. <sighs> Let's talk about how my past quarter has been, first of all. Also, yeah, I'm back home for break. I think I mentioned this. Winter break is like two and a half weeks long for me this year because okay 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 I have I have an important announcement to make um I think I'll leave that for last because it's talking about the future um but let's talk about this past quarter um I took probably the hardest course load I've taken since even before sophomore year honestly and I was having a pretty hard time with them but grades just came out today, and um, I think I did like better than I thought I would, so that is something to celebrate. <laughs> I am celebrating internally about that right now. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just nice to be um, back home for break and to have some time to decompress <laughs> from that quarter. Um, but no, yeah, I think like even though there were challenges. I also definitely grew from them a lot, and I think I learned a lot this quarter, <laughs> which I'm really happy about. Sometimes when you take like a less challenging quarter, you don't feel like you learned as much. I feel like I also learned a lot in like life experiences, and I had a lot going on for sure. I was also, oh yeah, I um, became president of Counterpoint this year which is the acapella group I'm in. I'm actually, right after I film this, I'm gonna start working on editing our winter music video, which I hope will turn out okay. <laughs> um, I actually haven't really looked at the footage that much yet, but um, we just got the audio all edited for that. Thank you, Elena. Um, and so I will be doing that. So yeah, just like a lot going on in general. <sighs> getting kind of warm, should I take this off? No, but then I'll blend into the background because this hoodie underneath is just like the same color as my entire kitchen. Okay. <laughs> um, a lot going on. So yeah, a TLDR of my past quarter. So much going on all the time, but I really feel like I benefited from that more than like, I think a phrase I used a lot this past quarter to describe it to my friends like while it was happening was like I feel like I'm drowning in everything and yeah I did feel that way like sometimes throughout the quarter but I think like overwhelmingly I did still feel like 
I was able to stay afloat and that all of the challenges were definitely worth it in the end, which I think is like the best feeling to have in college because like you want to be challenged you do and you want to have grown like so much from it so yeah overall i'm very very satisfied with this past quarter and like satisfied is like not the right word either but like just phenomenal a phenomenal phenomenal quarter in many ways okay so now that we're done recapping that Let's talk about my future, which is usually something like really big and terrifying to think about. But in this case, next quarter, winter quarter, I am going to be staying in New York with a program called Stanford in New York. Um, it's kind of like, it, it takes on the same form as like a study abroad program that Stanford does, except we're obviously not abroad we're gonna be in New York there's also a Stanford in Washington program that's like pretty similar um, and we're gonna be taking classes at night and on Wednesdays and then the other four days of the week we are going to be working at an internship so yeah that is what I'll be doing for the next quarter if any of y'all live in the New York tri-state area hit me up down below if you would like me to do like a meetup or something I really don't know if there's like enough of y'all here to do one but if that's of interest definitely let me know um, I'm just like really really excited to get to actually live in this city because like where I'm from it's like way out in the suburbs and like yeah I go to the city sometimes but I've never actually gotten the opportunity to like live in the city and work in the city every day um, and that's definitely something I've been considering post-grad so that's why I like am really like excited for this opportunity to like get to do it for a little bit um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing until March Woo! <laughs> the secret's out. Definitely look forward to some videos from my life in Manhattan. But yeah, that's like kind of it for now. I need to go and edit this video. Um, we need to get it up like as soon as possible because the holidays are approaching and we want to get it out before then. So yeah. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!